Hello everyone, welcome to day 12th of April Eco Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Anshu Dudeja, I am working as software developer 4 and today I present day 656 of daily lead code challenge and in case after watching today's solution you like it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks in advance now let's get back to the question the question that we have in today's game of life it's an interesting question wherein we are given a grid of m cross n matrix and each cell can have two states the first one is alive represented by one other one is dead represented by zero each cell will be having eight neighbors and we need to identify the next state of this entire board how can we do that there are few rules that are specified any live cell with fewer than two neighbors dies because of underpopulation any live cell with two or three neighbors li lives on to the next generation any live cell with more than three live neighbors dies of overpopulation any dead cell with exactly three live neighbors becomes a live cell as if by reproduction so we are given this state of the matrix we need to identify what would be the next state of this entire grid without further ado let's quickly walk through the presentation and i'll be taking you through the algorithm as well as the test case why the vpd so let's hop on to it lead code 289 game of life it's a medium level question on lead code and i totally feel the same also in case if you have any doubt understanding this solution or you want to ask anything from me in general please feel free to ping me on the telegram group of coding decoded or the discord server both the links are mentioned in the description below now let's shoot for understanding the transition rule let's extract the maximum out of it so that we can operate these transition rule onto the matrix i have simplified these transition rule and it can be reduced to only two if a cell is live that means in one state and has fewer than two or greater than three active neighbors then it's gonna die and become zero so i converged these two points together and decided this particular rule if a cell is dead that means it is in zero state and has three active neighbors then it will get alive and its state will be updated to one now what we can do we can simply apply this transition rule onto this matrix however there is one issue what is that issue let's try and understand it by an example let's consider this particular cell Let's count the number of active neighbors for this particular cell. The first one is this, the second one is this, the third one is this, because each cell in the worst case will have eight neighbors. So three of them are active, the current state is zero. If the state is zero and has active uh, three active neighbors, then it will get to life. So can we go ahead and directly update this state to one? If we do that, then the rest of the computations for its neighboring cells will get corrupt because you have assumed this cell has already gone live in order to solve this what we should do we should bring in intermediary states and what when i say intermediary states it means that instead of updating the cell from 0 to 1 directly what we can do we can update it to 3 first 3 means it's it's going to get live and then once we are done with the processing of the entire grid we can simply replace this 3 by 1 similarly let's shoot for another iteration wherein let's consider this particular cell so how many active neighbors are present with respect to this so we have only one active neighbor which is this one let's apply the rule if a cell is alive which is which is true in this case and fewer than two active neighbors two alive neighbors which is again in this case then it should become zero so we can't directly make this cell zero we should bring in transitory state and let's bring in minus two here minus 2 will act as a transitory state we'll update it to minus 2 and once we are done with the processing of the entire grid we'll finally update and replace all minus 2s by 0 so this is the crux of the problem uh, you iterate th in through the entire cell you count the number of active neighbors with respect to each cell you apply these rules over it and then you build the matrix that is a transitory state all active cells which fall under this category that has higher fewer than two or greater than three neighbors will eventually be updated to minus two in the first go and if a cell is dead and has greater is e, has equal to three active neighbors then it will get back to life that means its state will be updated to three so we will do it for the entire matrix and once we are done with the processing we'll simply check at what all places the value is minus 2 we'll replace it by 0 in the second iteration and if, if the value is 3 we'll replace it by 1 
what i am trying to say let's shoot for understanding it by an example let's take the same case and let's apply these rules over here so let's start the iteration uh, here we see zero so let's go and check the number of active neighbors with respect to this cell so the number of active neighbors turns out to be one that means uh, this cell will not be updated because none of the rules are getting applied over here let's proceed ahead next we see is one so let's count the number of active neighbors the number of active neighbors turns out to be one and this falls under the first category the cell is active and has fewer than two active neighbors it will die so let's update the state minus two and let's continue the iteration here we see zero let's count the number of active neighbors the number of active neighbors turns out to be two one is from this virtue the other one is from this virtue you need to count minus twos as well while counting the active neighbors remember this point so the number of active neighbors turns out to be two and the current state is zero this rule can't be applied so the state remains as it is let's proceed ahead next we see is this zero let's count the number of active neighbors one two and three remember minus one should minus two should be included while counting the number of active neighbors since it is three this rule can be applied and the state should be updated to one eventually however as an intermediary state let's introduce three over here positive sign means eventually it will get active or alive in nature so let's continue the process here we see is zero so let's count the number of active neighbors it would be equal to one two three four and five so this has five active neighbors as a result of which it will not be updated because we were looking for only three active neighbors so let's continue the process next we see is one and let's count the number of active neighbors one two and three so uh, if a cell is alive and has greater than three then it will become negative as a result of which this condition is not met and the state will remain as it is so let's move on to the next row here we see is one and let's count the number of active neighbors that would be equal to one since it is equal to one i can only see a single active neighbor for this particular one what we should do we should transition this state to minus 2 why minus 2 because it should become dead as per this rule so this gets updated to minus 2 and let's continue the process next we see is 1 uh, at 1 let's count the number of active neighbors it is equal to 1 2 3 so it has 3 active neighbors as, as therefore we can say that the state will remain as it is because it is not having greater than 3 or fewer than 2 it's a good state or a happy state let's proceed ahead next we see is one let's count the number of active neighbors we can see one active neighbor here two active neighbor over here as a result of which this condition is again not met it doesn't have fewer than two active neighbors the state will remain in as it is let's proceed ahead next we see is zero and let's count the number of active neighbors it turns out to be two so uh, the condition is not met it will not get back to life let's proceed ahead next we see is zero Let's count the number of active neighbors. It is equal to one, two, and three. This will become, act, this should become active because this rule is satisfied. If it is dead and has three active neighbors, then it should get back to life. So we should transition this to three. And let's look at for the last one. Here, the number of active neighbors turns out to be two. Uh, no change will happen onto this particular cell. So let's write all the states that are going to get transitioned. The first one is this one. The second one is this one, the third one is this one, the fourth one is this one. And now it's really simple. At all those places where you are seeing minus 2 value, replace it by 0. And wherever you are seeing um, 3 value, replace it by 1. So this gets updated to 0, this gets updated to 1, and this gets updated to 0, this gets updated to 1. So the final matrix is something like this. Let's quickly write it up. We have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, which is in sync with our expectation. So let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude this entire approach. The time complexity here is order of n into m and the space complexity is constant time. Here I have defined a direction array. It has 8 objects because each cell can have 
eight positions of its neighbors now let's move ahead and check out whether the current state of the board happens to be active or alive in nature if it is alive in nature then we count the number of active neighbors for that particular cell in case it turns out to be less than 2 or greater than 3 then we should update the state to minus 2 otherwise we check if the board state is 0 and then we again we count the number of active neighbors if it turns out to be 3 that means it is gonna get alive in the next transition as a result of which we update the board state to 3 once we are done with this what do we do we reiterate through the entire matrix and check or at all those places where the state is minus 2 we update it to 0 at all those places where state is 3 we will update it to 1 the crux of the problem lies in writing this helper method which is again very simple you iterate over all the directions array uh, that has 8 objects in it you check what is the current state of the board if it is minus 2 or if it is 1 then you increment the count of active neighbors and once you are done with iterating over all the neighbors all the 8 neighbors you simply return the active neighbor count really simple guys uh, it it's also tells how well you can write the code in terms of separation of concerns here i created three methods which is very important uh, runtime is one millisecond which is pretty fast the time complexity as i told is order of n into m the space complexity is constant time this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for being it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye see you